When you stream, you want to keep your audience involved every step of the way. When your audience is engaged in the discussion, they have fun and it makes the stream a lot more fun. A great tool to improve engagement and encourage subscribes and donations is stream labels. A stream label looks like this and it gets updated in real time during your stream to show the latest super chat, donation, subscriber, or lots of other things depending upon the platform that you stream to. Today I'm gonna show you how to easily set these up. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. Hello, my YouTube friends. The tool we're gonna use today to create the stream labels is called Stream Elements. It's totally free and there are links in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. Let's jump right in. So here we are in Stream Elements and you're gonna sign up through here. Basically, you just select the platform that you wanna be streaming to. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in, this is how it comes up and the stream labels are gonna be located in streaming tools and overlays. You can see I have a whole bunch of overlays here. But for this, we're gonna create a new overlay and I stream in 1080p, so we're gonna go ahead and keep 1080p as our overlay setup and click start. And we can go over here and click add widget. And we're gonna to go to labels. And first we'll add a subscriber label. And you can see there are a bunch of different types that we can add. Total number of subscribers, subscriber goals, latest subscriber, most recent subscriber. So we're just gonna go with our latest subscriber and basically that brings up our little box right here. You can see what it looks like. It just says latest subscriber and has a name in there. We can go into position and style and change the settings in here. Not really needed, but we can go into our text settings and change all this stuff up if we like as well. If we wanted to have different colored text, we can change that stuff up. We can also change our font, and there are lots and lots of fonts listed here. Lots and lots of fonts. We can enable custom fonts as well if we like. We can use dynamic font sizes, and we can set this up so it's left aligned, center aligned, all that sort of stuff. Change the weight, and we can have a stroke on here, so we can go and choose a darker color there we go we can even have the text scroll like that pretty cool can add the shadow to the text you can see it creates much better outline if we do but basically that is how we're gonna go ahead and add our stream labels so let's go ahead and put another one on here just click this plus right here we'll go to labels and we'll go to tips latest latest tipper and there we go. We've got a latest tipper, anonymous. We can also do all the same things here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change our shadow here again. And there we go. So it looks the same as the other one. And there we go. And we'll add one more. We're gonna go ahead and add a super chat. And we'll go with the latest super chat as well. You can also see their sponsors and other. Very, very cool. You can have a train count, events, a bot counter, sponsors for memberships and that sort of stuff, which I think is really awesome. We'll just do super chat. It's relatively easy. You move this to the location that you want it to be. Now, if we zoom out you can see that this box right here is the 1080 box so it allows you to easily place these on the screen where you want them to go I'm just going to change the text settings right here again and there we go so we're all set we have all of this stuff set and this is the location on the screen that's going to be and i'll show you what we want to do is go ahead and save so let's just call this labels We'll call it test labels and we'll save it 
And then what we're going to do is go and click this copy overlay URL. And then we're going to go over into our OBS. And we have our scenes right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it in this scene right here. I'm just going to click the plus. I'm going to go to browser. And we'll call this labels. And click OK. And then we're going to paste that URL that we copied out of the other one. We're going to give it the proper size. 1920 by 1080 for 1080 stream. Now labels don't have any audio, so we don't need to add that. And I like to reset the cache. Click OK. And there we go. Now our labels will just show up in our scene. And there we go. Now obviously we could change the colors. We could put a backdrop on these in OBS or anything we like. So one of the easiest ways to do that is just to go and get a color source. And let's have our color source be a darker color. So maybe like a dark gray, something like that. And okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the Alt key and we'll come up here. We'll hold down the Alt key, go down here. And let's just put it under our labels. And we can trim it up. And we can go one step further. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our little color source and we'll right click and we'll just copy and we'll paste that duplicate here and what I'm going to do is put this below our other color source I'm going to go into properties and we'll change our color to red and then what I'm going to do is just bring this over top for just a second is I'm gonna just expand it out a little bit and then bring it down and we'll expand using the alt key a little on the side and then move it over and then we'll move it below and we need a little bit bigger and we'll get it a little bigger on the side here as well and then we'll just use the arrow keys to kind of center it up and click off it. There we go. So now we have a nice little box. We can create individual boxes and that sort of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and select both of these and we'll move them up just a little bit. And there we go. You can see that these are not lined up. And we can fix that by going back into here. And we can just move them around until they line up properly. And then all you have to do in order to get it to change in OBS is click Save. And we pop back over into OBS and you'll notice that it's already adjusted. Now we moved it too low. So we'll go back over here and when you select it right here, you can use the arrow keys to move it around. And then you just click save. You can go into OBS, take a look at it. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. Now we can move all of them to anywhere we want right here. So we can select each one of them and move them. So if we wanted them at the bottom, this is one of the things that I like about stream elements is that you get the full layout of the screen so you can place these wherever you want and it's really easy to see where they are in relation to one another and then when you go into OBS it makes it really easy to organize them and then we can just bring our box down here and there we go it's that simple to move them around, have them any way you want, and set them up. And by the way, it's totally free. Um, we can actually test these. So let's go over into here, and we'll go and we'll emulate, and we'll do a tip event. And we can see that it did change here. 
when we go over into OBS, there you see it changed right there. So it is that simple. They automatically go off when an event happens on the stream, the name will change. You don't have to do anything once you set these up, they just work. They work really well and they're a lot of fun. And they're infinitely customizable as well. So if we go into settings right here, we can actually change what we want as our label. So it gives us the currency. If we don't want that, we can change it. It gives us the amount and latest tipper. But you can, do you know, call this whatever you want. You can change this text right here. So latest, if you like that better, you can put in donation. And there you go. It changes it automatically right there. We just click save. And we pop over here. There we go. That's totally changed as well. So it's very, very simple to change these up. So easy. You can do a lot more with stream elements too. If you want to see how to use stream elements to add alerts to your live stream, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.